Hey guys, in this tutorial, we'll discuss about the difference between first price auction and second price auction in Google Ad Exchange. So here you have a sample web page. For example, you have these three different ad units running on the site. And on this ad unit, you have Ad Exchange running on dynamic allocation. And you also have other line items targeting it or other bidders running on price priority. So let's say you have manage demand plus header bidding. So they all compete against one another and whoever has the highest bid, whether it's at exchange, manage demand or header bidding, it really depends which one has the highest bid available and gets to serve the ad on this ad unit. Now, how does that happen on a second price auction? Pretend this is, or these are the available bidders competing on that particular ad unit running on your site. So if ad exchange wins, for example, the user visits the page, so it triggers an ad request, sends the request to all these bidders targeting the ad unit, right? So we have ad exchange here, and we have BMW as the advertiser willing to pay $10 for that particular ad request. And these are the other bids or CPM rates available in the publisher's ad server from different ad networks or bidders. So obviously in this scenario, ad exchange wins because $10 is the highest bid available. But because we are operating on a second price auction, this advertiser here, although they bid for $10, they're going to check the second available bid or the second highest available bid within ad exchange and compare that with the highest competing line item in the ad server or in DFP. So in this example, the second highest bidder within ad exchange is coming from LG and their bid is $8. Now the highest bid available in DFP is from 152 Media, the advertiser is Pizza Hut for example, and their highest bid is $6. So in this example, the second highest bid from Ad Exchange is higher than the one competing in DFP. So BMW will still serve the ad on the user's page or on that ad unit being targeted, but instead of paying 10, they're going to pay 8 because this is the second available or second highest bid. Let me give you another example here. Let's say, for example, BMW wins because, again, running on dynamic allocation. So $10, highest bid. But the second highest bid this time from Ad Exchange is only $550. And there's another ad network or bidder in DFP targeting the same ad unit, and their bid is $6. So this is the highest competing line item or ad, ad network in DFP. So now BMW will still serve the ad on the user's end, but since this is higher than this one right here, BMW is going to pay $6. So advertisers are doing this to avoid overpaying, and sometimes they call it bid shading. Now what happens in the first price auction? Ad exchange, for example, wins on dynamic allocation. So we have an advertiser here available that would like to pay or willing to pay $8 for a given ad request. And these are the competing bids available in DFP or the ad server. Now in this example, ad exchange wins, but it's not gonna look at the second highest competing line item or CPM rate anymore. It's always gonna pay the actual highest bidding price. So in the first price auction, if the bid was $8 and it wins the auction, then this advertiser will pay $8. So some advantages of first price auction according to Google's product manager, well one of their product managers said that in, there will be increased transparency, reduce operational complexity for sellers, and it will make it easier for buyers and agency to properly value inventory. Let's talk about CPM floors and their role in the auction or in terms of determining the bid price in the first price auction versus the second price auction. 
in the second price auction, let's say for example, ad exchange wins, and let's pretend the highest bid here is ten dollars. And then let's say for example, there's another bid here for let's say five dollars. There's another one here for three dollars, and we have seven dollars. The second price auction. If this is the case, ad exchange wins. The bidder pays seven dollars in this scenario. Well, again, it depends on the bid here from ad exchange as well, and the second price or the second highest bid from ad exchange. So whichever is higher, this bidder right here will follow that price, right? But let's say, for example, you have a CPM floor, and your floor is set to eight dollars, or let's say nine dollars. So because of the CPM floor, this advertiser right here, instead of paying you seven, it's going to pay you nine instead. In the first price auction, here's what happens. If this is the same set of bids that you receive, you have $10 bid from ad exchange. In the first price auction, even if you have a floor of $9, this advertiser will still pay you ten dollars but of course if your floor is a lot higher than the highest bid price here then that's a different story that now makes ad exchange ineligible to participate in the auction so there's the difference between second and price auction second and first price auction with cpm floors now what about if ad exchange doesn't win in the auction Let's say there's an ad request and the highest bid available from ad exchange was only $3. In DFB, Manage Demand and Header Bidding, these are the available bids. So obviously, ad exchange is not going to win this battle right here. So what happens to that ad request? It goes to DFB instead and whoever is the highest paying ad network or bidder will get to Will get the chance to serve the ad instead and in this example it's going to be 152 media from their advertiser mcdonald's and they're going to pay six dollars that's it for today thanks for joining us don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more hope to see you here again soon bye for now